This week, a lot of big companies presented their earnings. But to me, there were three companies that were very interesting. I'm talking about Google, parent company Alphabet, Microsoft and T. Rowe Price. The biggest announcement for a lot of people was of course Google that is starting to pay a dividend. Microsoft already did that for a long time and T. Rowe is really known for paying a great dividend. So let's take a quick dive into these earnings, check their dividends and see what price targets I think are most justified here. I'm very excited to see what you guys think about these stocks so please let me know your thoughts in the comments. My name is Thomas and this is Thomas Invest. I'm an investor looking for great stocks at great prices. First on the list we have Alphabet, parent company of Google. This stock is up 24.5% year to date. And after the earnings yesterday the stock went up about 10-12%, to which is insane of course. And Google presented a solid beat on the EPS and revenue. But more interesting is the announcement of the $0.2 dividend and 70 billion in share buybacks. This is their very first ever dividend, resulting in a 0.5% dividend yield, which is pretty cool of course. And right off the bat we see that revenue increased about 15% year over year. And keep in mind, revenue was slowing down for Google, so this is really a big thing. Even more interesting is the operating income and margin. Both increased significantly. Operating margin went up from 25% to 32%. And as we can see here, the Google advertising segment went up big time, which is the vast majority of the revenue. Now let's take a look at the three price targets that I created using the Everything Money software. I fill in the assumptions and we see that we have a lot of red numbers. On the low side we're looking at $91 to $99. On the mid side we're looking at $125 to $136 and on the high side we finally have green numbers with $171 to $184. To me the mid to high price target is the most justified here, indicating this stock is kinda on the high side of this range. So I would love to see the stock coming down from here, meaning I will wait before I open a position on Google. What do you think is most justified here? Let me know in the comments down below. Moving on to the second stock on this list, Microsoft. This stock is up 10% year to date. And it has been an interesting ride so far. Microsoft presented solid earnings with a beat on EPS and revenue. Taking a more deep dive into the earnings we see that revenue increased 17%, which is really insane to me. Microsoft is one of the biggest companies in the world and it is still capable of growing 17% year over year. Intelligent Cloud was a really driver in terms of growth. Growth margin also increased 18% which is amazing and operating income increased even more with 23%. Net income and EPS increased 20% also looking really good to me. Looking at the dividend stats, I think you got yourself a great dividend growth stock with a dividend yield at 0.75%, which is of course not the highest. But take a look at those growth numbers, 10% on the 5 year growth rate and 19 years of dividend increases. Payout ratio also looks really good at only 25%. I just love this dividend scorecard. Now let's take a look at the three price targets that I created using the Everything Money software. I fill in the assumptions and we see that we have a lot of red numbers. On the low side we are looking at $196 to $235. On the mid side we are looking at $263 to $213. And on the high side we finally have a green number with $352 to $414. To me, the mid to high price target is the most justified here, indicating this stock is overvalued right now. So for now I'm waiting for the stock price to come down before I buy more shares. Microsoft is a phenomenal company, but the stock just looks overvalued to me. Moving on to the last stock on this list is T. Rowe Price, ticker symbol T. Rowe. This stock is down 6% on the year to date chart. T. Rowe presented 
also some solid earnings and really surprised a lot of investors with a big beat on EPS and also a solid beat on revenue. T. Rowe reported a quarter end assets under management of 1.54 trillion. When the overall market does well, T. Rowe does well, so this number is really important. EPS was reported at $2.49, also looking rock solid, and they increased the quarterly dividend for the 38th consecutive year. Revenue is increasing almost 14% year over year, and net income is increasing a whopping 21% year over year. And even more impressive, EPS increased 36% year over year. And most people are in it for the dividends. And I understand why with dividend yield at 4.5% and a 5 year compound annual growth rate of 11%. On top of that, they have been growing the dividend for 38 years now. This number isn't updated yet after the earnings. Now, let's take a look at the three price targets that are created using the Everything Money software. I fill in the assumptions and we see that we have a lot of red numbers. On the low side we're looking at $76 to $82. On the mid side we're looking at $98 to $105. And on the high side we are finally have a green number with $125 to $134. To me, the high price target is the most justified here, indicating this stock is undervalued right now by a decent amount. What are your thoughts on this stock? Let me know in the comments down below. And this was my full update on 3 stocks that just presented their earnings. Overall I think all 3 companies are amazing, but not all are at the right price as of right now. T. Rowe is looking really interesting in terms of stock price, and the other two just need to come down a bit in stock price. But remember to always do your own research and never fully trust on what I or other YouTubers say about a stock. I'm not a financial advisor and this content is just for entertaining purposes only. I hope you liked this video and I did bring some insights of the company to you. I would really appreciate a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to get notified when I'm posting a new video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.